The hardest part of this project is preparing the aluminum can. And a couple of things. Wear a rubber glove. Here are four cans that I worked on where I made some mistakes. This one wasn't so bad. Um, I just ended up crushing it when I pushed the drill bit in too hard. However, here's one. This was my first one. I was pushing too hard and the drill bit cut through the can, pushed down, and then you can see that it tore the can. If I wasn't wearing a glove, I definitely could have been cut. So wear a rubber glove. To prepare the can, you just pull the tab off, push the flap into the can, and again, I'm using a thick drill bit. I'm only gonna put one hole in it will look like this. Some people say to cut out the entire bottom, that creates more airflow. I don't think I'm gonna need it in this scale, an 18 by 24 inch uh, solar heater. If it was bigger, maybe I would use it. Now when you do this, you're going to grip the can. Do not put a lot of pressure on the drill bit. You don't want to punch through and then go down too far and either hit the ground or hit the side of the can. Just gently turn it on. Just press just a little bit until you see the drill going in. And as soon as it punches through, let go of the drill. Just like that. And you'll end up with a hole, and again, I'm just going with this size. Some people like to cut out the entire bottom of the can. If you have a smaller drill bit, you could put in two holes. Now, to secure the cans, you're gonna use silicon. And the best way to do that is to make sure you actually don't put it on the inside here because that silicon is just going to be wasted. You want to put it on the outer ridge along here. Let me move this out of the way. And you can just line up three cans because mine are only going to be stacked four high. You only need to put silicon on three. But just put a thick bead along the whole bottom of the can. And again, you want it on the outside part of the lip. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you just want to make sure that it seals tightly so that the air moves up the four cans. And then all you do is just put this right on top, move it around a little, make sure that it seals nicely, give it a wiggle. And then another wiggle. And when you're done, you can see that the beads are coming around and that's, whoop, and that's really all you wanna do once you have it done, make sure it's mostly straight, just set it aside to dry, and you have your cans.